what was the process like in the studio while making you guys' albums? Because, I mean, obviously when we listen, we're picturing you guys in scenarios, but that's clearly not what was happening. Well, yeah, I kind of it was because we were different than all our contemporaries, like say uh, George Carlin or Richard Pryor or Lily Tomlin, who made records, comedy records. What their comedy records consisted of was a recording of their live act. Yeah, that's what's their album. It's Steve Martin, everybody, George Carlin, and uh, uh, ours <laughs> records considered of cons- consisted of scenarios that we would create in the studio without an audience. Okay. And we just sound effects and different uh, different things going on at the same time, so it was it was it was kind of like you know early radio theater for us. You yeah. Know, so we we started doing that, but we it, it was in in the, in the advent of multi tracking, which is you know when we first got in the studio, they had four tracks, and that you know, was a big right. deal. You got four tracks, you got <laughs> a background, you have a bass track, you know. Very quickly in the process between our first and second album, it had expanded to 32 tracks, you know, wow. that you could, so you could put a lot of different sound effects in about yeah. this voices and we do all the voices and we recorded our own sound effects, you know, so it was like in the studio, it was, what it was, it was a, it was a, it was a, uh, like a, I don't know. I don't know how to say. It. You could try anything, you know, and yeah, and and work it out, and and it worked worked really well. Because we were doing, and it was in, in the days of when headphones start first coming. So you're right. really involved in the whole yeah. thing. You could hear the, the pans from left to right and the voices in the background. And so it was like, we were very different. You and must we were have been, talking about weed. <laughs> yeah, and you were talking about weed. I mean, it yeah. must have been super encouraging, too, when the Grammys started becoming involved. I mean, that's insane. Yeah. I mean, we got we got nominated for Grammy for every album we made. You wow. know, we should have won a lot more than we did, but yeah. <laughs> you know, but we were always there. And then, uh, and then, and touring, we do. You know, I mean, we sold a lot of records, a lot of records. And and our our other competition wasn't other comedians. It was like Led Zeppelin, you know, yeah. uh, Stones. That was our competition. That you know, anybody that sold records, and we we did very well. What do you we think that is? Number one albums in a row. That's unbelievable. Like, I mean, I guess it, that competition. Yeah, and the, the what do you, what do you think that was? Like, it was so hand in hand with rock and roll. Why do you think yeah. that is? Was it just you guys' spirit? Yeah, absolutely. Because we were rock and rollers. Tommy was was there at the beginning of rock and roll. You know, with Chuck Berry and Elvis Presley and and the blues before that even. And I was always a rock and roller. You know, and, and so it it was just uh, it was. It was perfect. We were we were musicians really all our lives, but we 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 employed musicians' humor, you right. know, which is it's, it's a very different thing than hey, yes. I went up to the bar the other day and I saw this. <laughs> guy. No, that that's it's a, with musicians like a little situational humor, and so because uh, uh, that's that's who we were, and and everybody kind of uh, uh, responded to that. You know, it was it was it, it was incredible. Do you guys think you did better from like just sort of on paper from the movies or from the CDs or the uh, albums? What do you mean better? You know, define better. I don't know. In terms of, I guess, you know, revenue in terms of sales. They were, you know, they were equal. Actually, in our situation, they were equal. You know, we we yeah. we had we won the uh, the NARM award for records with National Association of Record Merchandisers, which means who sold the most albums that year. We right. won that four or five years in a row over everybody, you wow. know, and so, and, uh, and then, so with movies, obviously it was the same thing, big blockbuster hits that, you know, who would the fuck would expect, you know? So we did, we did very well, you know, and, and everybody kind of stopped, thought we were still, unknown they knew us but nobody else did because it's our secret but right it was, a, it was like a little a, secret right yeah but you don't get to have a number one album by being a little <laughs> secret you know so it was we had it both ways we had our cake and they were eating it too you know so it was cool with we this underground hit that was explosively uh uh, uh, uh sellers uh, big sellers you know so how, how do you figure that i don't know 